Shalom and welcome to Tidmets of Torah. This year is entitled, it's late Friday night. Shalom is in the crock pot. I'd like to have some. Am I allowed to take it? So many of us are familiar, there's many halachas of Chazara, of how to go to ahead and return, take children off the pot of the fire and put it back. There's five conditions of Chazara. The food is fully cooked. It is still hot. Fire is covered. It's in your hand. You have in mind to put it back. But at 12 at night, it's an unbelievable smell of the cholent, and you're by yourself. It's not realistic to take it off. So first of all, it could be that the five conditions could be fulfilled. Some say you could hold it and and let it rest while you're still holding it. So maybe that could be worked out. But let's say it can be worked out. You didn't put a blach on the cholent. You didn't put anything on the, on the uh, crock pot. And you can't take it off and put it back. Can I scoop out the jaw on 12 at night? Have a little Oneg Shabbos? It's a great question. Mishabura and Shin Yudchad, Kuf Yudzain, Zmachme, the only time you could scoop out is when it's off the fire. When it's on the fire, it's a problem. Magus, it's stirring, and we don't want to stir it, even if it's fully cooked. And even if you're not stirring, you're just scooping, he's Machmir. However, many poskim did not go like the Mishabura, the Chazoni, Shevlev, and others are lenient. That you'd be able to take it out carefully, not stirring it, you're just scooping it out, you're not going to the bottom and moving the whole thing. Right? Just take it from the top. Many poskim are make in such a case, are lenient because it's fully cooked. And the fact that it's on the fire, well, what's the problem? It's fully cooked. We don't have a gazera that you might do that when the food is not fully cooked. You know it's cooked. It's been cooking for, from 11 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's 12 hours. It's fully cooked. And there's no more bisho, no more cooking. So therefore, whenever we take shalom, it's always best to do the five conditions of hazara and take it off and that's it, put it back. Or take it off just once at 11 in the morning when you eat and that's it. If the options are not available and you'd like to have a little children. It's a nice little fun time on Shabbat, on Shabbat. Yesha mean lismoch, there's room to be made. A person who's discussed, each person who's discussed with his post sake. If they come to a line, the Hasani Shemir Levi and others, as Nidbru. But that's the basic way I see it. Shalom.